Welcome everyone, Adam. The Woo here. At the end of this upcoming year will be 10 years that I have been making videos and uploading them to YouTube. It's been a heck of a, I think a bug just flew in my ear. And with that anniversary soon approaching, it got me thinking there are a heck of a lot of places that I have visited and documented from nearly a decade ago that may have been forgotten about or YouTube has changed considerably not only my style the way I present things camera work the clarity of the footage Let me just talk about my experiences and some of the some of the places that have fallen by the wayside been erased from existence today splendid China a theme park in Orlando, Florida, very close to Walt Disney World Resorts. It has all been bulldozed. There's nothing left. It's all been rebuilt. Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville Resort now sits on that place. But back, back then, there were some abandoned ruins of a pretty amazing large theme park. This footage will be made up of three separate occasions the first in March of 2010 when I first visited the property and then more clips from September of 2014 when an auction bought the remaining pieces and then I went back in October of 15 just to see what remained and even that's been well over three years ago looking back urban exploring as a whole in general has changed completely back then no one really showed their face now everyone's doing it it's very widely known that people just walk around with the camera through an establishment and show what's there but back then it was only photographs and those who did photograph those type of locations always kept secret who they were something inside said I should just grab a camera and roam around with the help of my friend Cody that's what we did him and I ventured into splendid China and now here is the footage nine years ago this month actually nine years ago this month we roamed around let's check it out join me shall you the main sign right here welcome to splendid China Cody. Hey. How's it going? The main entrance is fun in China here. You park your cars over here and you walk in and buy your ticket. One, please. Make sure you skate or die trying. You're going to have a really hard time though because they've removed the front steps. Looks like they pulled up all the front steps here leading into front entrance way. Just hanging out in Splendid China. Chilling. Splendid China. Time you, think, time you think the gate's open. Completely abandoned and barren. Nothing left out here anymore. The once glorious, splendid China. Not so glorious anymore, huh? All these used to be little gift shops, and restaurants, snack bars. Now all completely abandoned. It's all good. This is a little auditorium area. Lighting, VIP area. And there's the main stage. Even still have some of the remnants up, st up top here with the bulbs. Just to thank years ago, there was lots of entertainment happening on this stage, facing a sea of tourists, having a great grand old time, standing right in this little region here, enjoying the show, clapping. Probably used to be a staircase leading along here. Here's the railing, up to that little room there, which was the known as the Death Leopard backstage room where all the shenanigans took place. 
hungry fella. Going into the dressing rooms back here. A little hard to see. You got the mirrors and the lights. Used to be waterfalls there, all that was filled with water. Now it's all just green water. There's still people's legs that are up here with the miniature people. This is where the um, one of the Buddha shrines is. It's sitting right there, but somebody took it. And as you can see, there's a bunch of artwork on the walls, which people have graffiti over it, but it's all artwork, all hand painted. That guy needs help. Look at his forehead. Help him. Help him. Gotta help him. Gotta be helped. Help me. This is the famous Ronald McDonald Chinese clown. <laughs> Even a lot of Chinese culture has been Americanized. Used to be a fountain of some sort. With another view of the rocks over there. As we turn this corner here, you see the water highly protecting and guarding what is the world famous big statue. No one will ever be closer than where I am at this particular moment to this statue, ever. Except him. It's pretty creepy when you think there used to be all kinds of families out here having a good time, paying their admission price, enjoying their Chinese cuisine as they walked around and enjoyed the scenery. Not much scenery now. Just desolate weeds, dried up ponds. The real question is, I want to ask this comfortable looking Buddha thing, is should we continue on in the park? Sure, why not? This right here obviously belongs to Kim. This says, welcome Cody and the Woo. Says all that, huh? That's what it says. I think I hear somebody. Let's get out of here. Thirsty. I'm thirsty. For those of you out there that have never visited the Great Wall of China, well, here's your chance to do it through video. I'm pumped to get to see the Great Wall up close. I'm pumped to see the Great Wall up close. The small wall of China. I always wanted to walk the Great Wall. Well, just for a little historical sake, these were actually all hand put together. It would be really cool if we found some little miniature houses that used to house miniature people. It would be cool. Some of those miniature towns, right? Wait a second. Jackpot! Little miniatures. <laughs> Dude, how deep is that? It's insane. You have a gift. Dude, you totally have a gift. have all the miniatures here. This whole area here is supposed to be the Emperor's Palace in China. Yeah, we're out here on a Friday 
early morning, probably about what, 9.30 in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning? Yep. Came out here on a Friday because we figured most kids are in school with the skateboarders. So we came out here earlier in the day. That way maybe they wouldn't be in security because supposedly there's a lot of security out here now. Here's the old restaurant. This was a high-class Chinese restaurant. Hamburger, four dollars. Hot dog meal, three twenty-five. Won't budge. Won't budge. This was used in a lot of brochures and promotional material for Splendid China back when it was open. Starting to get a little paranoid out here now, thinking there's gonna be some people. Yeah, fucking gone. Many a shows were performed here. Used to be seats. This is what the people from the stage we're seeing as they performed. You enjoying the show? Having a good time. Right over here, up these stairs, you used to sit a huge monument. It was used in a lot of the brochures and pictures you could find on the internet and around town at tourist info centers. Up on top. Something out here that was well, burned down. Got burnt. This is probably what those kids burned down. Yeah, this is probably it. Once again, the Great Wall. Turn off there. See how all the mechanics of the waterfall used to work. There's the tubing. A little main. Who was here, Adam? Charlie. Look at this. How thick this glass is. Goodbye from Splendid China, or what's left of it. See you, Splendid China. And you will see a lot of this stuff, which is actually over in Kissimmee near Disney World. There was a theme park called Splendid China. And here are the miniatures. Look at this. These are the miniatures from Splendid China. Evidently, there was a huge auction, and they actually bought all of these miniatures. This is actually really incredible, the fact that these miniatures still survived and still exist. Actually makes me very happy because Splendid China was a pretty fantastic and incredible place. And I remember all of these, you can actually see these in my video, even though the location was about 20 miles from here. In fact, look at this. That is really awesome. I'm not really sure what a space pod has to do with Splendid China miniatures, but evidently the people that own this really have a keen eye for historical, awesome, pop culture reference goodness. So they have the Splendid China stuff. They have the awesome Explorers style spacecraft. Man, these are, that's really cool. This brings back a lot of memories. It's crazy to think that years ago tourists would flock down that road and this road driving to and fro into the theme park and now it is only used for construction vehicles to tear down what once remained. Look at the top of the wall and the detail. Just look at the detail here. The carvings in the top. Look at this. Just the carvings and like the workmanship here before you even get in the property. See, all this eventually will be knocked down very, very shortly. So I just wanted to document a little bit of what still remains. In front was actually where they had the word Splendid China written across this marquee. Of course, that was removed many, many years ago. And this wall will soon be removed the next time I show up to Central Florida. Odds are definitely pretty strong that this wall will have been bulldozed and cleaned out. Who knows what will go here? Apartments, businesses, stores, parks. Here's a mural of a dragon. Every time I think of a dragon, I think of Peach Dragon. Dragon cartilage keeps you thin. These metal iron 
fence posts in this design pretty much on every little etching going all the way down even even all the way down to the end they all have that design if you look over the top of the fence you can actually see how much construction they have done you can see how much they have removed how much is not there but you can see a few remnants of some of the tops of the buildings but you can also see some construction vehicles off in the distance and you can also see big mounds of dirt and 98 percent of what was once in splendid china has been removed look at that Basically, the only remaining structures out here at Splendid China are on this side of the property. Behind this original gate four wooden fence, you can see this facade. But as I am filming this, there is a construction vehicle right over there making its way slowly to pretty much seal the imminent demise of this. Anybody home? If you look in here, you'll see back in there some graffiti covered walls. Well, those graffiti covered walls will not be there much longer because the walls are being removed. The graffiti walls come tumbling down along with the rest of Splendid China. A miniature Great Wall was in here. Lots of buildings, a lot of controversy over this place. Hope you enjoyed this video. Say goodbye, pay our last respects to one of the first places that I ever did a video at. They have all the markers on the trees set up, all the markers of the trees they're going to remove. We're witnessing progress in motion, ladies and gentlemen. Progress in motion.